Okay, this is problem 22-2, it's on page 713. Specify the required torque rating for a clutch to be attached to a diesel engine shaft running at 2,500 RPM. The engine is rated at 75 horsepower. So the torque, now you have to be careful here, this is the frictional torque. Okay, the frictional torque specification is uh, what we're supposed to specify. But the power being transmitted is 75 horsepower, and the speed of the shaft is 2,500 RPM. Okay, so engagement is going to occur at 2,500 RPM or so. Now the the solution to this is basically the first equation in the chapter. So go back to uh, the beginning of the chapter. We're looking for equation one. Uh, let's see. I went to the too far. What page are you on? Uh, yeah, here we go. Page 695. Equation 22-1. Um, required torque capacity of clutch or brake. So basically the torque capacity is going to be CPK over N. So this is just CPK over N. Now, what are all these things? Like, like a CPK, like a variation. Yeah, yeah, you're thinking of CPK. Yeah, I'm just like, don't know that. Yeah. C is just a conversion factor for the units, and K is the service factor for the application. Now, here's the chart I was looking for. Actually, this little figure, or, or table, or chart, whatever it is, on page 695, this is really, really handy, because so far, we've always used 63,000 or 63,025 for the conversion factor so that we could have horsepower for the power, inch pounds for the torque, and RPM for the speed. But there's many other different combinations of those. So this is a really nice little thing. If I were you, I would copy this down or I would bookmark this page for use throughout the course. Because the torque, power, speed equation, th this helps you a lot, okay? This is really handy. So anyway, um, in our particular case, the speed is in RPM, the power is in horsepower, and they have not specified the units for the torque. Now, a lot of times, larger uh, clutches are specified in foot pounds. So instead of giving the result in inch pounds, I'm going to calculate the, the uh, torque in foot pounds. So my conversion factor, instead of being 63,025, will be 52,52. Okay. So let's see, 52,52, which is just the conversion factor, the power is 75 horsepower. Notice I'm not using units because I know I need to put the power in horsepower. Uh, divided by N, 2500 RPM. And now what about K? What is K? Well, K is that service factor I told you guys about. They specified that this is a diesel engine. Okay, so 5.0. Look on page 695 at items one through five at the top of the second column. Okay, that's where you find your service factors. Now. I don't know if you want to look at the slides and print it off and keep it somewhere or write it down somewhere, but what I would like to do, if it were me, what I would do is I would just highlight those. You're going to bookmark this page anyway, probably, for that little chart. So if you highlight those, those different factors, you can read them off quickly. Okay. Now, in our particular case, we're told it's a diesel engine, so we're going to multiply by 5. Okay, when you plug all this into your calculator, you find that the frictional torque rating is about 787.8 foot-pounds force. And that's it. We're done with that problem. That's what's nice about the problems in this chapter. They're all usually pretty quick and easy, pretty painless. Would that be like a uh, final exam problem? There will be problems like this on the exam. Speaking of which, we have our exam coming up a week from today, right? Yes. Okay, but brakes will not be on it. It'll just cover we don't need all this on the video. Uh, 